All right. I am five. Something that kind of happened uh, in between streams. Let me first make sure that my mic is working. Testing, testing. It is. I felt I got like a, a notification on Twitch a couple of days ago saying that I am now able to show goals. Uh, so what that means is I can have something added onto my stream that says like uh, it just shows my like say it shows my follower count. I currently have fourteen followers. I can add goals uh, to say like uh, fourteen out of twenty followers, and I just uh, kind of have that display on stream uh, to show that. Uh, to show to people watching that that's the goal I'm currently working towards. Here we go. But I don't see that on here, so I'm wondering if there's something else that I have to do. So I'm not seeing goals popping up. I'm gonna need to look into that, I guess. In the meantime, uh, let's go ahead and wrap up this quest. That I've been working on for the past two streams, Lost of the Ages, and doing so should get us an achievement. It should get us the achievement. Uh, where is it? It should get us the achievement Lost of the Ages. Something that I'm also kind of a little upset about, I had a, I have a dog, and I have a couple dogs actually. That's the freaking dog just managed to destroy or chew up the mic part of my headset right here. So I'm not even sure I can even use it as to communicate with my friends whenever I do play with them online because it's just my mic is chewed up. It still works for me to hear the. Uh, People talking, but it's just so stupid how my dog just shoot up the mic part. I don't even know when she did it. Where was that lightning coming from? Oh, what do you have? I've got your back. What do you have? Uh, okay. Let's get going then. Let's go. You made it. And you brought the shards. Look at the device here. The gear in the center is just about the right size. Try putting the shards in, and we'll see what happens. I remember coming here before, and I couldn't figure out like what to do with this. Uh, I guess it says, uh, "What do you use it for?" This. Whoa, that's cool. That is really cool. It's true. It's all true. Come on, let's check it out. I like that. That's really cool. Took longer than usual. How do you borrow it? Uh... 
figure out where to go from here because it's not letting me go out of here. Oh, I'm dumb. Lever. This is really cool. I don't remember the part at all. I think I've done this quest before, but I don't remember this uh, section. So I can go through this for the first time. I swear to God, I did this quest before, and I remember some parts of the quest, but I don't remember this section. This looks really cool so far. Oh my god. I like this looks so good. It's just design of this place. Wow. Uh Alright, let's uh, pull out our danger bow. Come on. Alright, let's go. Pull back our, out our uh, ground sword and knock their blinds closed ones. This I, I'm starting to remember more about this place. I think we have a fight coming up. I think we do have fight coming up. In which case, I should probably save. some over here. So I didn't have to see him again and get this optional objective. Might as well. sometimes. This guy is so weak. Thank you, Lydia.
only one thing left to do. We have to prove this actually works, that this is the real Aetherian Forge. I wonder what we get as a reward for this. I guess I'll find out. By forging something, of course. Go ahead. After everything we've done, you should do the honors. There isn't any Aetherian here, is there? Damn it. Oh, I think you get it. Yes. Yes, there is. The shards we collected. They're pure Aetherian, remember? It's not much. So this has an optional objective. Materials in this room. We should have everything we need. I don't know. I honestly don't know. After all these years, you can look around first. Even this much survive. Make it count. This may be the only chance we ever get to use the forge. All right. So. It wants us to use uh, that uh, the forge, but I'm gonna look around for more crafting materials. Right, I think that's all for materials. So let's see. But we can craft. Ooh. Oh, that could be really good. But this allows us to have two standing stone uh, materials. Because that could be really good. Or right, two standing stone abilities. I don't really care about shields. And this could be interesting, but of these, I feel like the Ethereum, Ethereal Crown could be more useful. Uh, what now? You, I've done what I set out to do. But you, take that out into the world. And if anyone asks, tell them what we discovered. Together. Uh, is there any more Ethereum? No. I honestly don't know. After all these years, it's a miracle even this much survived. And congratulations. Wait. Achievements. Five point eight four percent of people actually got that achievement. I suppose it is pretty lengthy. All right, so now we are going to be heading back to Solitude and doing the last quest that we have available at that point. At this point. Yes. It doesn't really give me a boost, but I'll take that additional. And I'll give uh, the Ebony Gongs to Lydia. We're actually going to be working on uh, smoothing. It's just not going to be until after. I have every single right uh, house in the game, and I just have the, uh... Heart of Fire DLC to do. I am at your command. Okay, you... can have... Oh... 
I won't hold on to that. I guess you have a bunch of dragon bones yet. So let's head out and we'll go back to the uh, our house in Whiterun. We'll do some inventory management. Oh wow. Is there a quicker way to get out of here? Yes, yeah, so there's one. There's two exits here. Uh. Oh, maybe over here. I swear to God, if it forces us to go back to where we came. All right, well, backtrack and we go. I don't see any other way for us to make a quick exit. Oh well. That was actually pretty fun. That's this quest. It's just uh, kind of sucks how we uh, don't really have a fast way out of here. So the last quest that we have available in Solitude, we already have it unlocked. We just need to talk to Paul Firebeard at the Blue Palace and do the second and last Potema quest line. Uh, quest. There is a reason why I love this uh, quest. I'm always trying to do it as early as I can. It's because I just love the historical implications. But you'll see like bulk scatter around Skyrim called the Wolf Queen. Like I think there's four parts to it. That, that's actually the story of Potema, and she actually has some implications into the, uh, into the, uh, I think it's the Tiberius Septum, or the Septum family, or whatever the royal family is, and, uh, it's called, uh, the Cyrodiil, the, uh, Imperial... Uh, family or whatever uh, that royal family is. I don't know the words. But uh, it fits imply that she has some kind of connection to uh, uh, the Septim family, if I remember correctly. And I just love anything to do with lore in these games. Just so fascinating. Something that may actually do is uh, work on. Uh, I was called. I may actually work on. Uh, I can't think. Uh, Breeze Home. Uh, uh, the Hardfire DLC a little bit early. So I want to be able to, uh, the first house I'm probably going to build is over by Falkyrie, or Sam Falkyrie. I am at your command. So, uh, that will probably be, uh, that'll probably be the first thing that I, uh, take care of, take but care. I'm kind of thinking about doing that early. Uh, just for the sole fact of, uh, being able to craft dragon bone armor, or dragon scale armor, I should say. Because I definitely have enough materials for that. Still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. It's also lining up Lydia's load a little bit. So she doesn't need the sword and shield. Because she doesn't need the sword and mace. What does have any great sword? And she does need the sword and armor. You lead, I'll follow. So do I have any 
uh, materials that are unique. I guess for now I can stow the ethereal crown. Uh, weapons. I'm gonna store the Ebony Grade Sword. And, uh, Ebony Bow. This may be a unique weapon, so I'll store this as well. Oh. How's that a quest item? Uh. Oh. Got your back. How can I serve you, my friend? You can have my old ebony gauntlet. Let's get going then. Let's see what else can I get rid of. Why do I have steel? Wait. I can get rid of that. Uh, I think that's actually a uh, gear that I used to wear that I just never got rid of once I swapped it out. And for right now, I can store my ingots. And let's see. Just trying to get rid of like a lot of carry weight. Let's also get rid of our claws because we don't really need those. Those are just taking up inventory. Huh. What else can I get rid of? Okay, well, I'm under the carry weight, so I can move around now. I wasn't really paying attention to the carry weight. And all I was trying to do was just get under the carry weight. Alright, moving on to Bellathor. Let me know if you see anything you like. Every trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. So how much can you get rid of? Oh I didn't get rid of that, whoops. Alright, well we got rid of most of this stuff. Let's uh, head to War Maidens and then we'll go over to uh, was Farngar. Just gonna sell some armor we don't need. Well, we've got some. 
Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? And do we have any? Yeah, we can get rid of this. Don't need any of these former arrows. We don't need the forest form arrows. And apparel. Get rid of this. I keep on forgetting to wear this when I'm selling. Good doing. Let me go ahead and put that on now because I saw some stuff I want to get rid of. And look at all this jewelry I have. So let's run over to Farmgar and we'll sell some more stuff. It's kind of a shame that that uh, gold thing isn't popping up, but I did have that enabled. But I'm not seeing like uh, like 14 out of 20 sub or uh, follower gold. I wonder if there's something I did wrong when I was trying to set up. I, I don't know. I'm gonna need to look into that after the stream. But for right now, continuing as business as usual. I'm wondering if because I'm the host of the stream, I can't see it. I don't know, I suppose that's possible. Come to Dragon's Reach? So, you wish to master the arcane art? Alright. Can't sell that, we can't sell that. Wow. Uh, okay, let's go ahead. All right, well, that's all I can get, uh, do for you. Let's head over to Solitude and we'll sell some more stuff there. Again, we are fast traveling to the East Empire thing because I don't want to deal with the vampire attack. Just fast traveling directly to the hole. And look at that, it's night time. So we are going to wait 10 hours. I do this every single time because uh, once you are past level 5, I believe, if you fast travel to a city, then vampires could attack if it's night time. So I've always fast travel near a city. Uh, just so that I don't have to worry about vampires attacking. Because I really hate it when uh, citizens die. And I would prefer it if I just go through this entire game. You probably want someone else. I'm without. Uh, that guy's a that kid you can adopt. Him. I prefer if I go through this entire game without having a single NPC die. Because some NPCs I give quests, they are able to be killed. And when I'm eventually working on the Hardfire DLC and working on building houses, I'll be using blacksmiths and a lot of different holds. Because I've had times in the past where a uh, dragon came and attacked a hold that I was uh, using a blacksmith for. And uh, he ends up killing uh, the blacksmith I use, and I have to go find another place. And I swear to God, this one playthrough. By the time I was doing building houses, I only had like maybe two or three uh, blacksmiths left in the world. Every other blacksmith that I attacked or had dragons or by uh, vampires. It just really sucks. You're the one who gave the fire hose. I remember. I can't remember if this place buys jewelry. Oh, oh, let me just drop. Take a look. Okay, let's see. Yes, you can. Finally. All right. What? Which 
These people are real charmers, aren't they? If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink.